Welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. My name is Paul Smith. Kia ora. How are you going? Uh, I'm a photographer based here in New Zealand. Uh, today we're going to be shooting what I think is one of the best film cameras of all time, the Olympus OM-1, a uh, camera that I bought two years ago. And unfortunately it's sat in my cupboard for two years. I haven't used it and I've just decided I need to pull it out and um, shoot it. I reckon these Olympus cameras are as good as anything. Uh, like I say, it's a crime that's been sitting in my cupboard. Um, so I've got that today. I've got a roll uh, or a part roll of Alpha Delta 400 Pro just rattled off about 16 frames I think. Um, brought that with me. I've also got a backup roll of Alpha HP5 that I may use. I'm not too sure yet. Um, so uh, that's on the agenda today. But first, my main reason for being here is to get some watercress. If you're a Kiwi New Zealander, you'll know all about watercress, a uh, local delicacy, uh, leafy green vegetable similar to spinach and uh, celery that kind of thing quite beautiful in soups and stews so i'm going to grab some of that this morning get some watercress i'm going to do some photography i'm going to go home and make some lunch eat my watercress develop my film and just generally have a good day so uh, come and join me and uh, we'll get into it and uh, just have a relaxing time let's go This watercress grows in like streams and ponds um, all over New Zealand. And the trick is, if you know a spot, is to, um, it's kind of like fishing, keep it to yourself because uh, before you know it, if anybody finds out about it, the place will be flooded with people and you have no watercress. So um, this is a, kind of a private spot. Technical information today. I'm shooting the OM1, the Olympus OM1, and decided to bring a, a zoom lens of that today. Uh, this lens is the, the MZUICO Auto Zoom 35 to 70 mm, which is a really nice focal length. It's just a nice variation. I like the look of this old pump sheet here. Let's um, let's see what we can do uh, with this. Not actually um, shooting like a you know, through lens kind of set up like this. You know, I've been shooting my like a you know rangefinder stuff for quite some time. But it really is a joy to be honest with you. This um, system, you know, in comparison to that to that rangefinder system, it's actually it's quite it's quite nice to use, and it's nice to be able to see the shot through the lens. Um, I've got a couple of shots of that now. There's not really much going on from this perspective but I might head over like I say to the um, I might head over to the to the paddock over there and get a bit closer to that shed and take a couple shots of it. How are you? Good. What are you doing? Yeah I'm just getting some water Chris and I'm doing a making... just walking through the paddock there and uh, came across a couple of farm workers and uh, they let me take the picture, so that was kind of cool. 
Thank you, Jen and Mike. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, some nice calves over here. I'm going to go and check them out and uh, maybe get a picture of them. Let's go. I was going to take a few more shots of that pump shed, but I think these guys are a bit more they're a bit more interesting and um, because they're not very old they're probably a little bit more receptive of me being here and white face oh, I gave them a spook it's okay hey boys come on Down at the pump shed now, pump house, whatever you want to call it, which is um, pumping the water from the spring up to the farm. Um, I had a look around the front, but I didn't really like it. But I kind of like it. There's just the shot actually of the, the, the roof here, the roof, and uh, looking down onto the spring. I think I've got one frame left, I think. One frame, maybe two. So, what we'll do. I think is we'll make make that our last shot and and then we'll head back and have a oh, no nah. <laughs> I'm out of film I just I just went to roll that on and it's just doof. yeah no more film left I can't take a picture of the shed which is okay because it's actually not as good a picture as I thought it would be I'll just frame it up and see what it looks like yeah it's not the picture I thought it would be that's okay Finish my roll. I'm not going to start that new roll of HP5. I've got it in my bag there, but I think I'll leave it. I'm going to head back. I'm going to have some lunch, cook up my watercress, and um, and then I'm going to develop my roll of film and uh, see the fruits of my labour, I guess. So let's head home and uh, have a bit of a cook up, have some lunch, and see what we got. beautiful day what a beautiful morning hope you enjoyed that uh, I sure did <laughs> as usual I always enjoy it uh, I always enjoy the photography before I go though uh, if you'd like to support my channel as usual I have a couple of books available on my website I'm gonna put a link up here for that um, I've got a couple of books available incidents of isolation my brand new book uh, which is a mix of my film photography and digital photography. I'm very proud of that book. I also have another book, Scenes from the Black Sand, which is also available. Uh, getting very low on copies of that. Uh, Scenes from the Black Sand is a book about my time in and around the West Coast beaches of Auckland, New Zealand. Um, if you want to buy both of the books, uh, I have a special two book deal. Um, go and check it out on my website. Like I said, there's a link up there for that. Scenes from the Black Sand, Incidents of Isolation, and um, I'd appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to go. Um, beautiful day. Beautiful setting. Beautiful lunch. Beautiful photography. 
please take care. Haere rā from New Zealand. Goodbye.